I mean, the stock pads, they start to disintegrate in here. Yeah. So they get a bit too hot. Yeah, definitely. Next That's up, only a single piston, so it's not gonna... Yeah, yeah, no, there was like very little to no braking power. I, I've seen you do the initial bite, and ever since you've done that initial bite, you just... Yeah, <laughs> it's like gone. But, other than that, it was a pretty good lap. So, good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, to the Nürburgring, and to a video where we'll be taking out this Audi S1 for a lap of a Nürburgring Nordschleife. Now, when this car came out, I was very curious to... Um, to experience it and I also think you're like hmm overdrive, drive manual small compact you can actually turbocharged you can put some bigger turbo on and see what it could be a very nice platform so thanks to Ahmad we can actually do it today we're actually already done it today but you're about to see so tell us a bit in short about the car what has been done to it yeah uh, so cosmetically I've done the bonnet um, uh -huh. that definitely helps with the extra heat yes to get, it get rid of that um, and it looks awesome it looks awesome as well yeah um, I've changed the wheels to Revo alloys mm -hmm. uh, more lightweight and you don't need much I'll get spacer. it from the other side where you have a bit more sun and you can see it better yeah uh, you don't need much of a spacer if you're gonna run a big brake it which is what I want um, yeah because right now yeah running uh, stock brakes yeah single piston uh, very sketchy very sketchy like by I think Brightside already, yeah, there was just like no braking power. So we had to go a lot earlier on the brake. And once we came off the track, the brakes were kind of cooking, smoking, smoking. yeah. Uh, but it's something that we are aware of in chaos uh, Audi brakes. They're unfortunately not good. Same goes for Volkswagen stock brakes, etc. etc. Luckily, you have, but you have different pads, or? No, not stock pads. Oh, stock pads. Yeah. Ah. But there were new pads that like, I've just had them put in like a month ago. Yeah, surprisingly enough, the, there was no brake fading whatsoever. It's just like you go on the brakes and it just doesn't exist. Yeah, uh, but other than that, the power. That's probably the most interesting part. So you said 350? Yeah, uh, it's a stage two API map uh -huh. uh, done by Awesome GTI in the UK. Um, it's discontinued now because of like emissions and stuff. Really? Yeah, All so right. stopped doing the stage two. Um, it's running 350 brake and Five twelve newton meters of torque. Okay. Well, On all the, like this, you know, you felt it's the it's it's uh, it was really good. It was very drivable. Like I would say for the track, you don't necessarily need much power, but it was very good. The exhaust also like pretty much a straight pipe. It only has a back box still. Yeah, um, it's valved as well, so like I can open and close uh, it. It's cool. still got a back box there, but when you open the valves, it's technically it's pretty much straight pipe. Straight pipe, yeah. Yeah, and you running NS2R tires? I am, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, good. That, that was very good. Uh, for the rest, yeah, manual transmission, it felt very good um, in terms of driving. I mean, the, the shifter almost came off, so that, that was kind of an <laughs> interesting experience to have it in, uh, in Paxol. Uh, but heel and toe does very nicely, uh, good position for everything. Uh, the only thing, the gearing seems kind of, in some parts, a bit too short, I would it's say. You re like, really, uh, Colin Hart were coming towards there and like, okay, should I brake? and uh, go to, to four or should I go to fourth but like half a second later I need to break already to go into third and Brunchen where you usually go this whole section in third this was like uh, should I upshift no well should I do it now yeah maybe but then yeah that was the only I would say downside yeah are there any any mods available for it like for longer final drive or something or uh, uh, you, you then just like a custom gearbox. custom gearbox yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a niche car not a lot of people have them yeah uh, and it's, it's, it's this gearbox, it's not in any other car. So yeah. Really dumb. Yeah. Right. Um, but I mean, like uh, any uh, VAG product, you can probably swap some DSG even in there if you want to. Yeah. If yeah. you want to go that crazy, of course. Yeah. Might, if the engine does go, um, I'll probably put a CJX engine in it from the S3. Yeah. Straight fit. Okay. Really? Yeah. Well, that should be interesting. And if the gearbox fits, I might, might just put that in. Yeah. Yeah. Then it would be nice. Okay. Well, that's as far as the short walk around goes. Um, I'll say, enjoy the lap.
yeah, it's like bullshit. <laughs>
good, it's very drivable. What suspension is it? Uh, KWB things. Okay, no, it's good. I think I just need to adjust uh, the rebound. Mm. I don't know if it's too low. Uh, what, what do you think of it? No, I, I mean, it was very com controllable. There was like, you know, no sketch, in, uh, no, no section that felt sketch or something. But like the high speed pipe is high speed corners were good. It's seen you take it at like 150, 150 something like that. Wow. Which one? Um, I don't know. I don't know the names of the corners. Uh, but the way you were taking some corners. Yeah. I just won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Thanks for the experience. Thank you.